Hey everybody, welcome to TFB TV. My name is Corey Wardrop. We are at SHOT Show 2018. I'm with Scott at the Accuracy International booth. Uh, Scott, you guys make a hell of a quality product. And tell us what you guys got new kind of going on. I know you just started shipping these a couple of months ago, right? Yeah, I, and thanks for the great intro, Corey, <laughs> and, uh, and hello to the viewers of Firearms Blog. Sure. Uh, as we were discussing, we finally have brought the AXMC and the AX308 to market in a, a true left-handed rifle. So, you know, here's right-handed and here's the left-handed. We finally got the gun for the left-handed shooter. Everything's native to him now. So um, we delivered those initial shipments very recently and demand is, is still quite high. So this gun, uh, what we have on the rack here is the 308, the short action. Sure. Uh, you know, like the right-handed guns, it's a multi-caliber gun. The user can remove that barrel with a hex key that's stowed under the cheek. And he can convert this to like, a, you know, a 243 or a 6.5 Creedmoor or a, a number of other rounds that fit natively in a 308 magazine. Right. Uh, like the right-handed gun, it's got uh, full modularity of the rail system. This gun comes standard with the 20 minute of angle top rail. There's also the AXMC version of this, like this gun, is also available now in left hand. And this is a 338 Lapua. Right. And this is a real serious multi-cal gun. You can run this as 308 class. 300 wind class and 338 Lapua class of rounds. So again, uh, user changeable caliber system with this gun. Uh, you know, the Magnum has 30 minute of rail compensation. 308 has 20 minutes of rail compensation. For somebody that's maybe not familiar with it, because yeah. I wasn't before a few minutes ago when you told me this and you taught me something today and I appreciate that. I'm showing my ignorance here a little yeah. bit. But would you explain to us for a little bit uh, what you mean by rail compensation. You're actually mechanically yeah. adding a inclined plane into the rail to help the scope at longer ranges, right? Yeah, that's basically. That, that's right, Corey. Uh, in, in the last few years, uh, the operational requirements of snipers have changed dramatically and they're having to do engagements at distances we couldn't even think about 10 years ago. So. Uh, today, uh, a rifle like this will operate at 1,500 plus meters of capability. So what we're doing with the 30 minutes of rail is we're giving the scope a boost. An optic like this ATAC R 5 to 25 will have like about 120 minute of angle, and we're giving it the first 30 just just to continue to extend that range and keep it. Right. within the, the area of best optical clarity and, and image correction. Sure. Uh, we have had situations where we have made shots, uh, not, uh, not just us, but snipers out there deployed in different areas that are out to two miles and beyond. And we, we have the capability with our rail system, uh, scope mounts, and high capability optics of putting those corrections for drop-in uh, without really dropping far into a ranging reticle. Right, so, that's great. Uh, I, I've got to ask for our left-handed shooters out there, uh, MSRP on this guy? Uh, this uh, this gun is going to retail for a little over $7,000, just a little over eight. Okay. Uh, so these are very high-end duty type rifles. Yeah, yeah, but they're, they're widely used by uh, precision rifle competitors here in America and other countries. Uh, uh, one of our employees in the UK has won two years in a row the British Tactical Rifle Championship running an AX. So, That's great. Yeah, a lot of guys who really want a you know, platform right out of the box that they can compete with and win are choosing an AX. That's great. Well, we sure appreciate it, Scott. Thank you for your time. Thank we you We hope very you have much. a great show. Thanks for joining us. All right, I appreciate it.